Hello everyone, and welcome to what could possibly be the start of a new series on the channel, depending on what you think of this video. So, at the end of this, if you wouldn't mind commenting down below, or liking or disliking the video, depending on what you thought, alright? But this is Singularity, and this might actually be a game that you're fairly familiar with, because it's been out for quite a while. I think about a decade now. I think it came out in 2009 or 2010, thereabouts, if memory recalls. And uh, I did actually play a little bit of this before, so I know a little bit about the game. But I only played enough to know that I wanted to save it for a rainy day and play it for a playthrough later on. And so today, I guess I'm going to be pretending that it's not shining brightly outside. It's definitely raining, because here we are with Singularity. Now, for the most part, this is going to be an action FPS. It's going to be part sci-fi, part horror. It's based on the alternative history of the USSR post-World War II as the Soviet Union begins to experiment with... You know what? I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to spoil anything. But I will say if you enjoyed Bioshock, if you enjoyed Cryostasis, then this might be right up your alley. Hope you enjoy it. Let's start Singularity on normal difficulty, I guess. continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet, Barasov is pressured to begin tests. Disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation, effectively wiping it from the map. 2010. A U.S. spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy, the reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. Okay. So I think that sets the scene fairly well. And here we are, en route to Katoga 12. Team Titan 1 Actual, you are now entering Russian airspace. Proceed with caution. If you're wondering about subtitles, by the way, sorry, they don't exist. Continuing on this vector. ETA to target three minutes. Brass must be scared shitless if they're willing to risk an international incident sending us in like this. Hmm. Intel says this bird's been abandoned for 50 years. Do you know what they say about military intelligence? Right, yeah. Keep your head on a swivel. Spartan team, maintain present speed and heading. Look at that. that Titan one. You see that? I did. I don't remember much about this, but I remember that. The Spartan 2 1, Spartan 2 1, we're reading a radiation spike on your vector. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. You weren't expecting this to start smoothly, were you? Come on. <laughs> yeah. I remember the first 20 minutes or so of this game very, very well, because I remember it making a very good impact on me. But yeah, I, I don't think I played too much further than that, frankly. Okay. Let's begin exploring Katorga 12. And let's maybe see if we can find... Some medical supplies? Oof. Right. Are we... Oh, bloody hell. Okay. Well, they're not coming back. 
So yeah, Katorga 12. E99. This new element, this new power source. It's a cool concept, I think. Information? Let's hope so. Uh, the death of Dr. Demichev in the fire had far worse results than anyone expected. We had hoped Dr. Barasov would be allowed to continue with our research, but we just received word that Moscow has deemed our work to be too dangerous. Any further study into E-99 is being discontinued, and all personnel are to be removed from the island. Katorga 12 will be completely shut down. All our work will be lost. Okay. Yeah, I don't know about that. I guess we'll see as we investigate, won't we? Oh, oh, there you go, there's a stim pack on the ground. Great. R appears to be the use key. Why not? This is Devlin forward! We were hit, God damn it! I repeat! We were hit! Titan 1 Actual here. What's your status, Captain? We got punched out! Copters down and we're scattered. Don't know how many KIAs yet. Over. Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. Right, okay. Hopefully he did that automatically, because I have no idea how to do that myself. But yes, rendezvous with Devlin. Let's, um, let's see if we can find maybe the only other survivor. Yeah, this is ringing a bell. Even though I did play it like a decade ago. This is cool. I think for the most part this game was somewhat overlooked for whatever reason. I think it was sort of rushed out last moment, which might be why we don't have subtitles and there might be a few bugs here and there, but yeah. I think for the most part it's meant to be a pretty good game. As people arrive from the boat, they no doubt have a great many questions. But you must explain that there is no time to waste. Move quickly and without hesitation through the list of prepared questions. Once you've filled out the form fully, Move the newcomer onto the next station. There are always a great many people to process, and the faster you work, the faster everyone will finish their job. Alright, if you say so. Hey, Stalin. How's it going? Hmm. Oh, yeah. There's a similarity to Bioshock. The influx of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Barisov might become the new head of Katorga 12. Right, okay. Without the subtitles, I'm probably just going to have to stand next to these things to, uh, to listen, unfortunately. So yeah, I'll try not to interrupt them, if possible. But yeah, we can just use odd little things. I don't think we can have a look in desks or filing cabinets, though. We, uh, we should be able to have a look at this, though. Once construction is completed, the tower will be home to the Borisov reactor. This powerful device will generate a singularity, an event horizon that will provide the Soviet Union with unlimited energy that is both clean and safe. Right. So it looks like we've got different panels for different areas of the island. The industrial docks are where supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. The village? You are here. Ah. The village area contains the civilian docks, where new personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island, and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. <laughs> okay, I'll take your word for it. Research labs. The research laboratories are where scientific investigation is done into the potential uses of E-99. Some of the areas of experimentation include weapons development, crop regeneration, and medical research as well as chronology investigation. Okay, sounds good. I assume all of these areas are going to essentially be levels in the game. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E-99 ore. Okay, and finally, the processing facilities. The processing facilities are where E-99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. Hmm. Maybe I don't like the sound of that. 
Right, okay. There should be a little bit more, though, so here we go. Nice. Okay, again, setting the scene. Presenting it very well, I think, even with the uh, the propaganda and everything. Yeah, I just like the game's presentation. A hell of a lot, actually. Uh, let's go this way. I think this is where we need to go. By some miracle, you're alive and hearing this. Rally at the base of the radio tower we passed over before we got bounced. Okay. SNR's running carpool from there. Double time it. Move! Alright, alright. I'm just wondering if I, you know... Oh, hang on, what was that? Oh, okay, mouse three for melee attack. Sure, okay. Uh, yeah, I was wondering if I actually have a gun, because I'm going to need one at some point. So there's jumping, sprinting, visions. Yeah, and that will be the similarity to cryostasis. I'm looking forward to this. I hope you are as well, actually, even if you know about it. Alright, so certain doors we can open. Right. Another EMP. I don't know. Ah. 1955, there you go. Sure, let's go this way, shall we? Whoa, fuck. Okay, not that way. Uh, where was he coming from? This way? Sure. Oh, it's just not your day, is it? Save me. Oh, can I? Oh, yes, help him. My leg is hurt. I can't walk. You'll have to help me. Right, okay, where are we going? Oh, <laughs> thanks. Well, I probably need to do this right back in the past, otherwise the future is extremely uncertain. Ah, uh, yeah. This way then. This way. Uh, not that way. Not that way. Shit. No, where, where are we going? I got lost already. Can we go through the door? Oh, we can. Oh, okay. I thought because we're carrying him, we couldn't, but no. So, sorry, what was that? Bloody hell. There he is again. Sorry, man, nothing I can do. Fucking hell. This is pretty intense, actually. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Probably should go this way. Probably shouldn't go this way, okay? Uh, if you get burned alive, I'm so sorry. 
Oh, right. Ooh. Careful. It's more like it. Yeah. There you go. Right next to Stalin. Damn it, Jeff. What happened? What did you do? <coughs> what did I do? Nothing. I almost died in there. <laughs> Fortunately, he saved me. Yeah, fortunately. <laughs> there you go. So now here we are back in 2010 and now it's Nikolai Demichev. Interesting. So I think at this point you you know where the comparisons to Bioshock and um and certainly cryostasis are coming from. Right, now we have to go this way. Yeah, okay. What's that? Oh, okay, E99 tech? Sure. Oh, okay, so th yeah, this is like a currency, essentially. Nice. So I've got a hundred of those. Let's go over here. Can we... That's right, yeah, so... If you want to search around in dumpsters and stuff like that, it is sometimes beneficial. I don't precisely know what we get from the, you know, using the tech. I don't remember what we can buy, but hopefully something. Open luggage. There you go. It's all over the place. I don't know how much time I have, so I'll make this quick. The Singularity exploded about two hours ago, killing hundreds of people. But spreading radiation is also having effects. Mutating humans into violent monsters, and they feed on human flesh. I have to get out of here before they find me. That seems like a valid excuse. Monsters that feed on human flesh. Yeah, I'll, I'll give them that. Titan one actual. Copy. For fuck's sake, someone copy back! Sorry, I'm too busy. Copy back and tell me things look a little south of normal, because I'm officially freaking out! <laughs> Another health pack there, there you go. I know it, damn it. Calm yourself, Devlin. Okay. Okay, eyes forward. Keep to the original directive. Continue to the radio tower. Right. Okay. And like loot everything on the way if possible and read every note. Uh dear Mr. and Mrs. Majikovic. Mijikovic, uh, your son, Jakov, has continually been disruptive in class. He mocks me in front of the other students and refuses to keep his hat off during class. His crude behaviour will not be tolerated. If this continues, he will be expelled from school, or worse. That's Mrs. Kozlov, who doesn't take any shit. Yeah, lots of stuff you can just sort of interact with for no reason at all, but I, I like it all the same. Another... What was that? Another note? Uh, when Kasha returned from the lab, she told me she wasn't feeling well because she had come in contact with an E99 solution. I offered to take her to the doctor, but she refused, saying they might terminate her. She begged me to keep quiet about it and let the sickness run its course, but then she became violent, so I chained her door shut. From the terrible sounds I've heard coming from there, I can't even bear to look in on her anymore. Hmm, alright. Okie dokie. What we got? If anyone should find this recording, please. Our children are hiding in a room at the top of the stairs. They only have a limited amount of food and water and won't be able to last for much longer. Please. They're so scared. <laughs> Recorded that just in the nick of time by the sounds of it. Right, okay. You probably want your ball back, don't you? I hear something. Still don't actually have a proper weapon, just this. I cursed the day we came to Katorga 12. Yuri is working himself to death in the labs. I keep asking him what is so important that he can't come home and sleep, but he tells me he cannot talk about his work. We would both be punished. Rough spot to be in. Alright. Find a weapon to shoot the padlock. Okay, what we got? Oh, Centurion ammo. So we need to find the Centurion, I suppose. And there it is. So this isn't going to do it. I guess not. Not this time, anyway. Right, our first weapon. Single shot revolver that fires a powerful E99 bullet. Everything is just E99 around this place. 
Okay, let's grab that. Nice. Another note. Me and my family. My daddy works at the big process plant here on Katorga. <laughs> he came yes he came home yesterday and said his back hurt. When he woke up, he had something on his back. Mummy screamed. By Max. Thanks, Max. <laughs> okay, right. Probably should have like shot him, but I, I was too shocked. <laughs> Okay. Let's see. Lovely. Nothing down there? No, okay. Let's do that. Oh, shit! Fucking hell, okay. You dead? What? <laughs> <laughs> and a, a good early sample of the ragdolls in this game, why not? Yeah. Wow, that um, took me by surprise, actually. Oh, there's something down here? More of this tech. Oh, loads more. Feels like another trap to me. Alright. Nothing down here? No? Okay. I suppose I'll have to just learn what we can sort of play around with in this game, you know? Like what I can actually access, like boxes I can open. Oh! Notes I can read. Uh, Dear Svetlana, my darling daughter, how are things going with you? Things are going fairly well here. Your father and I are a little worried about you, though. We never should have let you go to that island. There are rumours that... Redacted information, I guess. And not just there, but uh, something else. There was even something about it in the newspaper, but it was on the last page, and made out to be nothing. If what they say is true, it sounds like the government is something, but all they say is nothing. Uh, anyway, I hope I'm just being silly. Write back and tell me you're okay. All my love, Mom. Right. And that's all we're going to find around here. Okay. Let's get going. In here? No? I'm just wondering how much of the village we have access to. Oh boy. Missed. That certainly didn't miss, though. I'm just wondering if the, uh, you know, firing from the hip accuracy is going to be the same as iron sights, because honestly, I don't really want to use iron sights. I generally don't like using them. I was brought up on Counter Strike, you know. I, I can't help it. Anything in the dumpster? Oh, of course. What are you hacking away at? Oh, right. Not too much of him left. There was mention of a school, wasn't there? Titan 1, if you're receiving, I'm in what looks like a school and there's some guy... Holy mother! What? Keep the button held down. Don't tell me you're not ever going to finish a... I take it the front doors aren't just gonna... No, they're not gonna swing open for me. Can't go in through the side, but maybe the other side? Yeah, alright. What? Ooh. Another health pack? Yep, sure, sure. And that was just... Blown open by the wind, let's pretend. Oh, no, that's real. That's not part of the memory. <laughs> that sting lasted far too long for that easy kill, honestly. <laughs> More? There's so much ammo around here. And so much E99 tech, and so many notes! Bloody hell, they like to write, don't they? Under Dr. Demichev's orders, we have begun using an assigned seating in the cafeteria, as well as assigned meals. I've had several teachers and students complain about this, but I've been told by Demichev to say nothing, and that is exactly what I'll do. Right. Yes, I think that might lead to something fairly sinister, honestly.
Now, I did pass by some doors. I'm just wondering if I could... No? No, I guess not. That's ah, the fountain to use. Let's go this way. Alright, okay. If anyone is available to substitute for me tomorrow, that would be greatly appreciated. I seem to have caught something and will not be in. Mr. Morozo, right. Yes, he probably didn't know what was happening to him. Oh my god, there's just so much! Maybe I should be playing this on hard mode. <laughs> I should mention, actually, um, if you are playing this game, aim assist is on by default. I had to go into the controls to turn it off. There's all this stuff growing out of the uh, the trays and on the floor. Ethereal grass. Careful. Kitchen stuff. Please place one ounce of this powder in each student's food who sit at table one. It's an experimental enhancer, which is completely safe. Thanks. Principal. Right, yeah. Now doth protest too much, Mr. Principal. So, yeah. That explains the assigned seating, the assigned meals. The test subjects. Wait. Do you get back up? No, you don't. Wow. Okay, so sometimes the head explodes, sometimes it doesn't. Wow, he went to work on these guys. A message from Dr. E99. Hello, children. Please remember to wash your hands after using the restroom. Practicing personal hygiene is very important for the health and well-being of yourself and others. You wouldn't want to upset your parents by catching or spreading an infectious disease. Dr. E99. Yes. I think he's like a mascot or something. Okay. I think it's probably time we go upstairs. Maybe it's finally time I learned Srillic. Dr. Demichev has told us the equipment they're installing at the school is safe, but I'm worried. I have a friend who works at one of the animal testing labs, and he told me E99 living flesh. How could they expose the children to something like that? How? Oh, by, like, assigned seating and assigned meals and putting stuff, you know... Well, okay. How morally? I'm not sure. The monsters! Worked out well for them, didn't it? Nothing around here. Oh no, no, there is a note. Uh, this is my first day at school. My family just moved to the island last week. I was afraid to leave all my friends behind, but Papa tells me I will make new friends. He won't tell us what he's working on at his new job, but insists it will help us, and I can get the puppy I asked for. We watched a film about Dr. E99 in class today. I wonder if Papa is working with Dr. E99 at his new job. Natalia Rose. Yeah. Oh man, there's just so many notes and stuff. That's it, Max help. <laughs> well, okay. I guess I'll use one to pick up another one. I'm not sure what the principal's up to, but ever since they began assigned seating during lunch, several students have gotten sick, some violently. Later tonight, I'm going to inspect the kitchen to see what we've been feeding the children. If anything's abnormal about it, I'll let Dr. Demichev know. He'll set things right. Yeah, I'm sure he will. That's it. So we're going to find around here? Sure. You point at me? It's <laughs> oh, bloody hell. If it's not notes and stuff like that, it's a projector. Dr. 
There he is. Thanks for that. I actually do like watching those. I might sort of complain about all the notes and the projectors and stuff, but it's all pretty good, you know, world building stuff. Right. Not getting through there, no. Okay. I thought I heard like footsteps up here, you know, I'm just wondering when I'm gonna find someone. If you got the powder. Right, yeah, okay. Seems too good to be true. Just keep thinking someone's gonna ambush me again, you know? Let's go down, I guess. Oh, fuck. What? What the fuck was that? That was insanely fast. That was like one, two frames? I. Okay. Another health pack. Yeah, I might need to come back and get that, actually. It's not just the, uh... It's not just these guys. Now, these guys are fairly easy to deal with. In there. Alright, let's see. Recording down here? Of all places! There has been another event. This one much worse than the last. It has exceeded Barisol's threshold. We are securing the facility, and then we will make our way down the hill. We must leave Katorga 12 at once. Hmm. Okay. Wonder if you got the chance. D ah! Nope! Fuck! Fuck, shit. Okay, trying to get all those headshots, but all the ones that I could have got were during the scripted event, so... Ah, oh, that's a bit disappointing that you can't go in vents. Just trying to shoot your legs. <laughs> oh, damn! Oh, damn! Whoa! Okay! Okay, they actually do some damage. I was just dicking around. Trying to shoot the legs. I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil 2 recently, you know, so I thought, oh, maybe I could just, you know, take his limb off. And I did, but he still kept coming. Fuck. I'll take that now. Yeah, okay. Alright, well, pro tip, don't get hit. How's that? <laughs> Sound advice. Okay. Oh, what's that? That looks like another gun for me. <sighs> right, let's grab it. The Valkyrie. Okay. Oh, what? The primary assault rifle of the USSR. Great. What are we doing here? Wait, oh. 
I'm feeling a little bit boxed in here. Whoa! There you go. All right. This came really well equipped, thankfully. Okay. I've got to say, the gunplay, just the general combat in this game, does feel pretty good. At least with these two, you know, guns to begin with. Is that just another one? Another assault rifle? Yeah. Grab that. <laughs> I think by the end of this game, I'm going to have so many bandages on my arm, you could probably mistake me for a mummy. Oh, fuck. Oh, Devlin! Rico, you're alive. I am! I'm trying. Son of a bitch, are coming to the window! Light them up! That's what I'm doing. You said windows? Ah, right, windows, yes. I can hear them, but I can't see them from this angle. I'm gonna open the door. I'll take left, you take right. Okay. One, two, three. Go for it. Nice, uh. Supposed to meet up with SNR yesterday. <laughs> Let's move up. All right, after you, I suppose. We'll grab this now. Okay. Do I have to be point man? I guess I do. Really, I can't wait for him. The hell were these things? You seen anything like them? Did the Russians create them? But they did. Why? Well, maybe it wasn't intentional. I could have missed it, but I'm pretty sure Look a massive that. pillar of energy shooting into the sky wasn't mentioned in the mission brief. <laughs> this is Devlin 4-1. Do you copy Titan 1? Titan 1, this is Devlin 4-1 on guard frequency. Please respond. Are we good to go with extraction? Even though there's no subtitles, it does look like the voice, you know, it sort of carries quite well. So, I don't necessarily have to be standing next to him to hear him, which is cool. Oh, something over there. There he is. Right, yeah, you, you just stay there. I'll go and listen to another audio recording. People are gathering at the gate to the docks. Word is spreading that there isn't enough room on the guard boats. You told me we still have the pearl. The pearl? <laughs> you sound like Captain Jack Sparrow. Can we... Oh, right. <laughs> I guess we can probably just go around. Yeah. Okay. One thousand. Oh, you went in without me. Let's stick to the plan. Get to the radio tower. Maybe we can salvage equipment there if we need it. Right, radio tower. How could Intel have been so wrong? I mean, this place is anything but abandoned. And they were just taking pot shot guesses, I guess. Something's not right. No. We should at least be able to hear the Titan One broadcasting. Search and rescue teams better be on their friggin' way right now. <laughs> Alright. You wanna go through or no, okay. Let's go. Uh maybe not right away. Nah, no. Hang on. I need to have a look at this. The uniform's a little different from what I've seen. Shh. This is definitely a Russian soldier. No question. Grab that shotgun, let's go. Shush. And there are those who would very much like to stop it. And it's our job to make sure we stay safe. Once again, Dr. E-99 will be helping us today as we talk about safety. Katorga 12 is a great place to live. There are plenty of fun really? places for you and all your to friends up. to play. Shh. But there are also dangers on the island. And if you want to do your part to help on Katorga 12, you'll pay attention and avoid these areas. For example, there are many new buildings and roadways under construction. These are very hazardous places for children. And of Grab course, the there are the important experiments we're doing with E-99. He's our friend, but we have to be careful around him sometimes. Look at little Ivan with his dog. It's important he pays attention to the signs. Uh-oh. It looks like Ivan's dog got into something he shouldn't have. <laughs> that would be a real shame. 
if Ivan got too close to the processing plant. So don't let this happen to you. Remember that safety here on Katorga 12 is everyone's responsibility. And of course, the most important thing to remember, something we should never forget. What are you waiting for? Take that shotgun and we'll move and out. And of course, it's possible because of Nikolai Demichev. Because he was rescued by me, sort of. Right, okay. Devlin. Right, you want me to pick up the fucking shotgun? I'm gonna pick up the fucking shotgun. Son of a bitch. Right. There it is. Okay. Oh. Did I just drop my- I think I just dropped my revolver for it, so maybe there's only two weapons we can hold at once. Anyway, an auto-loading shotgun does sound a little bit better than a revolver, so let's give that a try. Yeah. So if I- Oh, fuck. Fucking hell. Okay. Maybe let's not dick around. Fuck. I'll have these two. Anything else around here? Uh, there could be. Just a phone, is that it? Uh, I think that's it. Right, yeah, close the door. Oh. Just in the nick of time. Quick, give me a hand with this cabinet. Sure, hang on. Nice. Hell. All right, ready to go. We're going that way. Open the door, then cover me. Roger that. On me. Nate. All clear. Franco, flank right. I'll go left. Okay. Whoop! Fucking hell. Oh, bloody hell, all right. All righty, come on. Well, they can actually get pretty fast and charge you, you know? You down, right? Yeah, sometimes they're hard to bring down. If you don't get that good headshot, you don't blow them up. How's he doing over there? Not too great by the sounds of it. Ah. Come on, man. You're supposed to be taking care of them on the other side. I need to get used to these death animations. Alright. Ah! <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Fucking hell, right. Yeah. Right, go on then. Cheers, Devers. Right, I'm actually running out of ammo fairly quickly. Is that it? Shit, it's locked. I'll hold this area while you find a way to open the door. <laughs> right. All right. Well, yeah, sure. Let's find a way to open it. Just up and around, is it that simple? It could be. Yeah, don't trust that. Right. Woo! He was having fun. Nice. What's in the box? Come on, what's in the box? Oh, get out of the way. <laughs> Oh my goodness. There's the radio tower. Let's contact Titan 1 and get out of this circle, jerk. Right. Yeah, okay. Sounds like a plan. That's a lot more ammo than I had before. On me. Yeah. I'm just wondering if maybe I should leave it here. I mean, it's just saved, and, uh, you know, I think at this point, you know what to expect from this game, so if you want to see a little bit more of this, let me know by liking or commenting down below. If you don't, dislike it, and uh, maybe I'll move on to something else instead. Alright, thanks for watching, and maybe see you in a part two. You weren't expecting this to start smoothly, were you? Are we... Oh, bloody hell, okay. Well, they're not coming back. Another EMP. I don't know. Don't let 
<laughs> Sorry, what was that? Probably should go this way. Probably shouldn't go this way. Okay. <laughs> I like it all the same. Another... What was that? Thanks, Max. <laughs> okay. Let's do that. Oh, shit! It sounds like the government is something, but all they say is nothing. Oh, fuck. What? What the fuck was that? That was insanely fast. That was like one, two frames? Just trying to shoot your legs. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, damn. You said windows? Ah, oh, right, windows, yes. It's a little different from what I've seen. Shh. Right, you want me to pick up the fucking shotgun? I'm gonna pick up the fucking shotgun. Son of a bitch. So if I... Oh, fuck. Okay, whoa, fucking hell. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. It could be... Yeah, don't trust that. 